you're watching Southwest London Television. It's me, Keith Maynard, and I'm here at the motorbike show in the heart of London at the Excel Centre. It's Valentine's Day. It's February the 14th. It's all about love, marriage, and romance. So where better for me to be than surrounded by two-wheel beauties? And I'm referring to the motorized kind. It's fantastic. It's Foggy Friday. It's the first day of the show. Uh, Carl Fogarty's here. We're hoping to get a few words with him, uh, along with uh, the James May Classic Honda Collection. Uh, there's a load of wonderful stands of loads of new innovative products that we're going to be testing and of course this is our chance to start putting our toe in and testing the water for our new bike show filter let's go and find out a bit more So I'm here with a man who needs absolutely no introduction. He's fiddling as we speak, and it's, it's Charlie Warman. I'm not fiddling. <laughs> I'm well, not in the strictest sense of the word, <laughs> no, but you were no, playing. I was wondering what you were saying. <laughs> oh, is it? I know it's Valentine's Day and all. <laughs> for you, if you if you could pick any bike, I mean, I don't know what one you're going to say to kind of queue into London for that kind of filtering through the traffic. What are you going to pick? We're sitting on the on the new BMW GS Adventure. What's nice about it is the height of the handlebars. So most of the time you're you're over the top of car mirrors, and they move out the way. I mean, I, I mean, I've got a GS as well. People move out of the way when they see you coming, don't well, they? It's, yeah, it's a bit like a truck coming through. It's a bit like if you're driving around in a in a, in a Range Rover or something like that. And you're, yeah. and you're or a Hummer. Or a Hummer. It's a much stronger engine. It's water-cooled this time. So the first time a boxer engine has ever been water-cooled. And, and, and it just looks freaking awesome. I just want to ride it. We appreciate you chatting to us. We really, really do, Charlie. I know it's a busy day, um, and you're here with your family as well, which is nice. You had a good day at the, at the conference today. Yeah, yeah, it's been, it's been it's been great fun. It's lovely to sort of come down and see all the new stuff, and and all the little stands as well. There's there's lots of stuff here that 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 you just can't find, or you see it on the internet. But you know, I quite like touching and feeling things. In a non. We saw it at the start there when you were when you were you know fiddling. We got we got a feel of that fiddling. You know, you like to fiddle. Well, I spend a lot of time away. You know, so you know. A, lot, a lot of time with you and human in that tent. I don't know what you're up to. I'm, you know, what happens in the tent stays in the tent. <laughs> Thank you for chatting to us. Right, we really best. appreciate you, Charlie. Good. It's Poppy Friday, and we're here with Carl Fogarty himself, one of the greatest riders ever uh, from the UK. Carl, how's it going for you so far? Yeah, it's going really well. I mean, you're always a bit apprehensive as when you're doing these sort of things and you know what I did was you know quite a while ago back in the day but the, the first world title win in Australia in, uh, in, in 1994. You're in London now, let's say you were doing a commute into London, what motorbike would you commute on on a daily basis? Well it obviously be a Ducati on it for me, um, I, you know the bike I like is that, is that it's like the hypermotor, so that kind of fun, funky kind of fun bike really more than the more than the super bike, it's it, it, easy to get in and out of traffic you know so yeah, Ducati Hypermotor, or the, the, the Monster or something like that, yeah, something easy to throw around. So this is the Ducati Hypermotor that Carl Fogarty was saying he would love to commute into London on, on a daily basis. Fantastic bike. I'd love to review this for the filter show. So I'm here chatting to Steve and Danny, who have uh, just been on a very exciting motorcycle adventure. We decided to give ourselves a challenge of only having £125 to go and ride down to Valencia. We had enough money left to get a hot chocolate and a donut. And that was it, literally. You know, we're doing a show filter about commuting into London. Would you recommend this is a good commuter tool? Yeah, well, I've still got mine. I, I, I use it all the time. In, in fact, I came up here today on one. Most of my stuff's in the West End. I don't go in the car. You jump on this, nice and uh, narrow, elbows in. You don't, you know, you can get through the traffic. Lovely. Thanks very much, guys. Thank you very much indeed. You obviously are selling classic motorcycles. I believe these pieces in front of us are worth, did you say, close to a million pounds? That one over there is probably the, one of the most iconic motorcycles ever made. It's an exact replica of the bike that Honda made for Mike Halewood to ride in 1967. They actually made two. Mike won the TT, won the World Championship, won every race he entered on this bike. Very desirable, A, because Mike rode it, B, because of the sound, and what it did, you know, and the looks of it as well. And how much does that go for? About half a million. This one here is in, it will be in our next sale, which is at Duxford at the Imperial War Museum in April. And that's, uh, that carries an estimate of 50 to 60,000. If I was looking for a classic bike to commute into London on, on a daily basis, which of these two would you go for? Well, you could use either, but you'd be in jail pretty quick. 
<laughs> because they're not road legal, of course. They're beautiful machines. Thank you for chatting to us. Thank you very much, George. You're very welcome. So it's been a fantastic day here at the Excel Centre in London. So many great bikes, so many new products to review for Filter. And I'm here now with three beautiful ladies who were part of the uh, British Superbike Championships last year. Ladies, thanks very much for joining us. Thank you. Thank you. It's a really hard work life having to present this. It really, really is. So uh, make sure you tune into Filter. Uh, keep watching South West London Television. And from us here at the Bike Show. Tune into Filter.